I think the data are really sufficient to say that other animals are conscious beings. It's useless for me to say whether they're as conscious as we are because I don't know what that really says. They're conscious enough to be card-carrying members of their species. And in July 2012, a group of scientists at University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom got together and produced what's called the Cambridge Declaration on Consciousness, which basically concluded that all mammals, some birds and some other animals, have the neural architecture that underpins consciousness. And while I think this was kind of like reinventing the wheel, I think it was a very, very powerful move and has been and should really be used to protect other animals. One of the offshoots of speciesism is people sometimes refer to animals as being lower or higher species. And as a biologist, I think that's a really silly and useless type of designation. Higher often becomes synonymous with more valuable, lower with less valuable, <coughs> excuse me, lower with less valuable, less intelligent, and so the higher species, if you will, get more protection. But we know that, quote, lower species, such as mice, rats, and chickens, display empathy. So as far as higher and lower goes, I think it's just a really useless designation. And one of the things that I hope will come out of this meeting is that animals such as the rodents and the fish and the invertebrates and the birds who aren't protected from invasive research will be protected. In the United States, the Federal Animal Welfare Act does not recognize those animals as animals. It actually redefined the notion of animal to exclude certain rodents, fish, and birds, and, amphib and invertebrates. We're also very good at denying what we know. So when you, sit at, when you consider climate change denialists, they look at the data and then make it a political issue. We're very good at denying what we know about the fascinating cognitive, emotional, and moral lives of other animals. But yet the database is growing daily. It's grown a lot even since the meeting in August of 2011. And now we know that many animals, they're very smart, they're very emotional, and they display moral sentiments. So we're on a roll here, and I think this book will really, really serve to make a big difference in the lives of other animals. Finally, one of the topics we discussed was compassion or conservation, and that too focuses on the value of individuals versus the value of species, populations, or ecosystems. And the starting point for compassion and conservation is that every individual counts, the life of each individual matters, and that in our conservation decisions we're going to have to make the life of these individuals factor in to solutions. And that field of compassion and conservation is really growing rapidly too. So it really pleases me to be part of this project.